Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today is just a, a little vlog, a Saturday, kind of an evening vlog. I think it's after 5 p.m. now. Yeah, it's 5.25 p.m. for me. Today was a very productive day. My husband and I got up early. We went to have breakfast like we always do. And then I remembered that uh, I have a post office box. So I said, you know what, I need to check that because I don't know if I've maybe gotten a letter or so from anyone. So I thought I'd look at it even though I was thinking, oh, maybe I haven't. I don't think people have really caught on to it except for a very lovely lady named Patricia, just like me. And <laughs> so she sent me a letter that was very nice. But I thought I'd go ahead and look and lo and behold, there was a key inside of my P.O. box. And uh, I was wondering why is there this key, this strange looking key in my P.O. box? And it was actually a key to another locker and it said for me to go open it, use that key. It had the number and it said to just leave the key that it was, you couldn't take it out or something like that. It, once you put it in, you can't take it out. So I went to go look and I had a little packet and I'm wondering, well, who, who sent me a package? <laughs> and then I told my husband, you know what? I think I remember somebody saying that they were going to send me something, but I couldn't remember who. And my thought went to one person, but I checked and I go, no, this person doesn't mention this. And I said, you know what? I'm going to check all my emails and I'll look back. And sure enough, I found an uh, email from Melissa. Melissa Barrow, B-A-R-R-O-W. I hope I said your name right. Melissa Barrow and Mikey. And she's so sweet. Uh, she sent me some pictures of some wreaths she has done. And let me tell you, they are absolutely beautiful. And I love them. Uh, uh, I think a couple of them are B, B, uh, themed or at least one of them is so I'm gonna put the pictures towards the end of the video so that you can see the beautiful work that she does it's I was amazed by it. I thought it was really beautiful and anyway I love these I love anything with wings actually so like angels birds dragonflies bees butterflies anything with wings I love so I I was very attracted to her her wreaths so anyway in in that email she says I sent I'm um, sending you a little gift via mail as an appreciation for, I guess for the, you know, for my videos. So then I said, that's gotta be it. I mean, I was looking at the outside of the box and I have the package right here. I've already slid it open so I wouldn't have to be doing that here and making a bunch of noise. Um, <laughs> and it was very tempting to go ahead and look in, but I did it right before I did the video, so. Oh, by the way, I was a very productive day because I also did my video for Tuesday and I make this beautiful floral arrangement. So make sure you check out for that. And by the way, on Tuesday, I'm going to San Antonio to go see my little grandson. So it's really exciting. I'm taking my mom and my two sister-in-laws. One that's married to my brother and one that's my husband's his sister. So they're all going with me. So it's going to be exciting. We're just going to go for the day, come back. We're going to go see baby Leo. Anyway, back to the packaging. Uh, so on here, it says Bobana. <laughs> and I don't know what that is. I don't know if that was maybe Melissa using some sort of a little little username or something on Amazon because this comes from Amazon or if it's from the company that where she ordered the item from. By the way, my husband's outside uh, because we were out all day and then we decided to rest because I don't know, we just, it was so hot. The humidity outside is super thick. There's some dark clouds. We don't know if it was going to rain. It didn't rain on us at all today, but it just sure felt that way. My joints were like, ah, my knees. Uh, but anyway, he's outside because I mentioned that I wanted to, one of the plants that we had put out there, I guess it's just like one of those type of plants that only grow a certain time and then they're gone. So I wanted to pull that out of the, the, the planter that it's in because it's really dry. And I thought, well, I'm going to put the foxtails in there and then put geranium where the foxtails is. I was going to do some replanting, but it's just been so hot. So I did my video for my, and he decided to go sit, sit down and rest. And then I came in, I rested for a little bit, and I said, oh, I'm getting hungry. Time to make dinner. Time to find out what's in the box, you guys. <laughs> Back to this. So he's outside gardening, and I really wanted him in here to do the video with me. But he's like, no, I don't want to do it. I'm going to go outside. I was, okay. So let's find out what Melissa sent you guys. <sighs> Look at the little gift bag that it comes in. It's so cute. I love this through Amazon when you pick a gift. You can also pick to, for it to be, you know, placed in a little gift bag for you. And this is what they do. It's so lovely. It's got a little card. This is a gift for you. I wonder if it says, this is order and return information. Okay. So this is a gift for you. All right, 
everyone, I'm back. <laughs> uh, yes, this is from Melissa and Mikey. Um, that's what the little note card is. I had to uh, cut because um, I got a little emotional. It says, Trisha, I wanted to send a small gift and this grabbed my attention since you love working in your garden and with flowers in general. Thanks for all the wonderful videos. Please know that you are appreciated. Thank you very much, Melissa. I appreciate you very much and Mikey. Thank you very much. <laughs> I got a little choked up. Okay, so I'm okay now. Okay, so there's another little packaging in here. Okay, so I guess Bobana is, or Bobana, I don't know how to say it. That, that's gotta be the um, brand name because that's what I saw on the outside of the box. So, I already know what it is because <laughs> it says on the outside. <laughs> But let's open it up. Look at the nice little velvety little packaging, little little tie bag here, just like the gift bag. Oh, it's a keychain, and I'm definitely going to use this because I love keychains. And uh, this is really beautiful. Thank you, Melissa, and Mikey. I, I can't say it enough. Look at this cute little. Like an apple shaped little keychain, but it's got three little charms. And this one says, A garden of love grows in a grandmother's heart. I saw something about keychain, grandmother. So look at that. That's the little charm. And then it's got one with a little cutout. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I saw this sign. I said it's got a little cutout, little heart in it, but it actually, it's got love on the other side and it's got the car, a little cut out heart you can see through it and then this is a little bat no it's a little it's a little watering can that was a little basket at first a little watering can with some flowers this is so lovely because you know um i've been wanting one of those charm bracelets so i got one of those bracelets that you add little charms to so i might take a couple of these and put it on that <laughs> and then put the other one on my on my keychain so thank you so very much it's beautiful and I love it can't wait to show it to my husband he's gonna be like wow that's really nice and maybe he'll be in the videos a little bit more somebody will send him an appreciation gift so I'm gonna tell him so put in the comments down below so he can read it okay you guys I'm going to make dinner I'm hungry and I know that my husband's out there but he's just gonna have to come in and just eat it cold I don't care because I'm gonna start eating it so let me show you what I got because, oh, we went to the grocery store after the mail. We went to the grocery store and I got, actually I got this little book sometime during the week or last weekend, but we went to the grocery store today in mind of something that was in here. This is a, it says, uh, Taste of Home Cooking for Two. Now I paid $5 for this little booklet and I wasn't going to get it. I was just flipping through it and I thought, oh, this Great, great things in here, great ideas. Um, I'll probably just look them up online, but my husband says, five bucks, take it. And I said, okay, I'm gonna take it. So I threw it in and I actually purchased it. Uh, and it's got some really cool, we've, I've already gone through every page and there's some desserts and breakfast stuff and so forth. Um, but it's got some really good stuff in here. And I've already actually made one of the recipes, but you know, like I said, I always change things around. Uh, this full garden frittata right here. I've already made that, but I think I'm going to redo it so that you can see it in the video because it actually came out really good. And uh, I put bell peppers and all kinds of stuff in it. I changed it around a little bit, but it does say zucchini. And I did use zucchini in the mushroom that's mentioned in here. So that's what I do. I take recipes. And my camera's a little bit uh, like, like that. So I'm going to fix that in a minute in case it's bothering some of you because I can see that you can see more of this <laughs> you can of this so it needs to come a little bit this way um, but uh, I don't know what I was saying but um, yeah I like to look at recipes and I like to change them up a little bit if, or just sometimes it just inspires me to make something else even something that's not even that but maybe one of the ingredients in there made me think of you know I want to do this and I want to put this and this and that in it so that's how I come up with with recipes or I just change them around a lot uh, so anyway so in here and I wrote, oh, here it is. And here I found this is Makeover Deluxe 
grilled cheese. So while we were driving around and then deciding, what should we have for dinner? And I said, well, we're going to do another video. And he's like, he says he never told me that he would, you know, that he would be in the video, but he agreed to the food that I was going to make in the video. So that, <laughs> that's a lot, another story. But anyway, um, I saw this grilled cheese and I said, you know what? I saw a grilled cheese sandwich in that little booklet. It had apples and cheese and sounds delicious, but you know, I gotta have meat, you guys. So I decided to choose some chicken breast. So I'm gonna actually grill the chicken breast. And let me show you the crazy bread that I found because we said, okay, well, we need the apple because uh, I was gonna use Granny Smith. I decided this is what, what I wanted to use. And then I said, and I want some nice cheese, some Gruyere, or some, I don't know, something, something like that, or some Gouda is what I said. So we'll get some of that. And then I said, we need some nice thick bread because I want to make a nice thick sandwich. Maybe some grainy bread, something with lots of grain. So that's what we were looking for. Uh, I did end up getting uh, smoked Gouda. So I got some of that. So I'm going to slice some of that up. And then I got some Gruyere cheese. And it wasn't cheap, let me tell you. This was expensive, but it's delicious. I asked for half a pound, and it's just a little over. And that's okay. And she actually gave us one slice before she weighed it. She gave us one of the slices, so we were kind of munching on it while we were there, and it was so delicious. And I know that Gruyere cheese and, and Granny Smith apple go really well together. I've seen it in recipes. I don't think I had tried it. Um, but in here, it says to use a small tart apple and a reduced fat cheddar cheese. It also asks for fresh goat cheese. So as you can see, I just changed my cheeses up a bit. It does say to use a French bread and cut it thick. Uh, why well, didn't get a French bread? It says to use flavor or butter flavored cooking spray. Well, I'm just going to use some some actual butter and uh, is this is a small onion, halved. So I'll see what, why do I have to use, I just halved, why not slice, oh, halved and thinly sliced. I'm gonna read up a little bit more. Okay, so anyway, we were looking for bread and we were in the bakery and we're like, mm, this looks good. Let's look in the regular bread aisle. And as we were going down the regular bread aisle, right in the end cap of the aisle, they had this big bread. It's a big, that's a slice, the size of a slice, this whole thing. And it's about half an inch thick and there's four slices in here. And it says bake bread and it says create your own recipe or use one of ours. And it says grilled hangover toast, French toast, rustic bruschetta recipe on the back. And sure enough, it's got some recipes here in the back, but I'm gonna use this for my grilled cheese sandwich. I'm actually only going to use two slices and make one big sandwich and then cut it in half and my husband and I can share that. Okay, you guys, so I've also got some nice veggie chips. Love these. These are nice and they don't have too much of a big, strong flavor, so I think it'll be nice uh, in combination with these really strong cheese flavors. So I'm going to fix my camera. I'm going to be back because I also want to make some agua de melon. I'll be back. All right, you guys, I said I was going to make agua de melon. What is agua de melon? Agua meaning water, melon meaning melon. Melon water. I was going to get a cantaloupe and actually uh, make a fresh melon water, but we were going by the drink aisles, you know, the sodas and things like that. And they have these little little uh, packages, it's powdered. It's mel melon, which is a cantaloupe flavored drink mix. And I said, hey, I'm going to try that. Uh, but let me know if you would like me to show you how to make actual agua de melon. And those are real popular down here. Uh, it's a very popular drink. You can make it with watermelon, pineapple, uh, tamarind, um, uh, jamaica, which is a hibiscus flower. Uh, there's other flavors, lime, etc., uh, that you can use to make these. You just uh, you take fresh fruit and you pretty much you know just crush it or put it in the blender and then you add water to them. Sometimes people put a little bit of sugar depending on their, you know, their taste, but usually just the fruit and the water and it makes a really nice refreshing drink with lots of ice. I'm going to open this up because it says to use, and this is, it has some dried fruit in it. So we're going to see, it makes one quart, one quart, I think is 30 something ounce, 32 ounces. Maybe does it say on here? Well, I've measured 32 ounces of water in here. So um, I think that's what the quart is, 60. This is a 60 ounce pitcher, so. I was trying to remember, where did I get 60 from? I was on the bottom, the little label, it said 60 ounces, so. 
Okay, I also got this in my grocery store today. It was five bucks. I thought it was cute. Little plastic, little plastic container here. Little pitcher. It just splattered everywhere. This is not a like a plant food video. It's it's just my vlogs are sort of turning either me out there in the garden or somebody else's garden or this. I can't really vlog like anywhere because there's music playing. And you can't have, you know, you got copyright, you know, things with music. So that's kind of a little bit of a problem. The only thing that I can think of is, is if I do go shopping because maybe this Tuesday we'll go somewhere besides going to visit my grandson. So maybe I'll vlog where I'm at, but I'll just add music or voiceover as to what I'm looking at or what I'm seeing because it's really hard unless I, you know, and I don't want someone to tell me, hey, you know, lady, you can't be videotaping in here. Okay. I'm just going to use my phone. I'm not going to use my camera. So, anyway, I'm going to put some ice in it as well. Kind of big chunks of ice. Okay. I'm going to taste this. Why? <laughs> I spilled some more again. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to taste it. Wow. It says drink mix. So, it's obviously not all. It's got to be artificial flavors in here. Well, it does say artificial flavor drink mix. Okay, but this thing has a little dry fruit in there. But it tastes really good. Now, it does have that, you know, drink mix, like powder, drink mix flavor to it. That you would expect. You know, you know that powdery kind of texture or whatever that gets left in your mouth? But it's really good. I'm going to make this grilled cheese sandwiches, but I'm going to use chicken. So I'm going to use chicken breast. And I'm going to use my, what is this called? Induction cooktop. I'm going to use my Copper Chef induction cooktop. This is not sponsored by Copper Chef. Get that going here, get it hot. And here's my chicken. Let me get a plate. Get my butter out and seasonings. All right, I got my butter ready. My chicken breasts. Oops, I should get a knife to cut off all that. Little bits of fat. Dirty hand, clean hand. This one has some little bits of fat on it and I'm gonna remove. I'm really not gonna butterfly them. I'm just gonna make them like that one nice and thick. I'm gonna have to wash my hands again after this because I can't touch my spice containers. Okay. Just a little bit more fat in my finger, my finger here. Well, it's all over me, but that's besides the point. I my chicken breast right here. All right, so I'm back. <laughs> I had to wash my hands and I decided to go ahead and wash the knife and everything else that I had here. I'm just gonna season with a little bit of salt and some pepper on one side and garlic powder. I have this other item here, it's Grill Mates from McCormick. It's garden vegetable seasoning. I'm gonna put a little bit on there because the last time I used it, I got a little carried away and I kept putting it in the meal. And it was delicious, by the way, whatever I made. Um, I should just make it again. But anyway, I put too little too much of that. So I tell myself, don't put so much this time. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I seasoned it on one side here. Get it on my grill. And then I'm gonna season the other side. Not too much salt. Got plenty of pepper. Okay, I love this griddle thing because it cleans off really well. If you remember the last time that my husband and I cooked on here, we did some grilled chicken and then we did the, um, it was bell peppers and stuff, and I think we made the, the, the Dos Equis chicken nachos or something like that. But anyway, um, you know, it was all of this stuff on the bottom. It looked like, you know, it was something that was, it just cleans right off. That's all. That's my point, that it cleans off really well. Okay, now some of this 
garden vegetable seasoning. I have to wash this too. Okay, I'm gonna let this uh, on this grill. I'm gonna leave it on the grill for four minutes and then I'm gonna turn it over. Look at that. The, the neat thing about these um, induction cooktops is if you take anything off of it, you know, let, let's say you finish cooking something and you grab your pan or whatever you have here off of here, put it to the side, you forgot to turn it off, if you're over here doing stuff, it will automatically turn off. Of course, anything that's on it, <laughs> while you have something on there, it will remain on. So make sure you turn it off. Okay, I'm going to be back because I need to wash that thing over there. I need my little, little prongs, thongs, whatever they're called, tongs. Turn this over and I'll be back in four minutes. All right, everyone, I've gone ahead and I've done some other washing of the, some more stuff. Uh, it's not been quite four minutes yet. Uh, I'm going to open up my bread because I want to put in my little toaster oven. And I think I need to do one slice at a time because they're huge and I'm hoping they'll fit in there. If it doesn't fit, I think I'm just going to slide them into, the, into my oven. Because I want to toast them up a little bit before I actually put them on the grill here. Oh my gosh, how do I do this? I just have to take them all out. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, let me see if it fits in my little toaster oven. And I'm back. Okay, so we did fit in my toaster oven. I'm going to save one to the side. Oh, look at these are coming apart. The little crusts are coming apart. Oh boy. Let me do it the other way. Put it back in this bag here. I don't know how I'm going to seal that now. I'll figure it out. Okay, let me chase this. Oh, it's nice. It's just a white bread. It's like a, almost like a French bread. Mmm. Nice. Oh, you guys, um, speaking of going to San Antonio, I've been asking, you know, family, friends, people that know San Antonio a little bit more than I do and those that live there, for any craft stores um, that might be out there. But I'm not really looking like for Hobby Lobby or Michaels because we have those here. Uh, even like, like wholesale flower shops because we have some of those here. And someone suggested a couple of stores and I'm very appreciative of the suggestion uh, I wish I could remember, and I don't want to say a name because I'm so horrible at names. Um, but you know that I responded and I told you thank you. Uh, the stores were like Janelle's, I think, and Travis. They're all wholesome flower shops. And I wanted to go this past Tuesday, so I had already asked my sister in law. She said, Yeah, I'll go with you. And we thought, Just go for the day, come back, maybe stop off and see Leo. Um, but I looked at the stores online. I went to go look to see if I could find pictures, you know, of what the store actually looked like because I wanted to see if they had stuff that I do. And they do. They have lots of stuff, but we do have a couple of stores here that are pretty much exactly like those stores. So I'm actually looking for something bigger. And I've already done some, uh, you know, all kinds of whatever searching I could do in San Antonio. But I feel like probably not going to find anything that I'm thinking about. So I'm probably going to have to go like maybe to Houston. Uh, maybe even Dallas to find, I'm looking for like a huge <laughs> warehouse or something where you can just walk through and spend the whole day and looking for all kinds of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and turn these over because I think it's been four minutes. Turn these over. <clears throat> I actually put the bread in there to toast for 10 minutes and I only could fit one slice and it's not even going in straight. It's a little bit angled going in, but it, it did fit. So Another 10 minutes for that other one. I think it's gonna be 20 minutes. That's okay, we're gonna let this cook off. So any, any of you in the Houston area, do you know any of gigantic stores like this? I could call my cousin, my, my aunt probably knows and stuff. Um, I could just order lots of stuff online. I just thought maybe we need to have the experience of going somewhere and seeing something, you know, in person. I don't know why I have this urge to put butter. You know what, I think we're maybe drizzle it with some olive oil. Because I do remember the last time that we made it, my husband was saying the chicken was a little bit dry. And I do have that glass top thing that I could put on top. So I'm gonna pull that out, put it on top. I don't want this video to be super long, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here and I'll be back. 
All right, I've got my chicken covered here. I have these nice uh, glass things that are good for pressing down on things. Um, I've had it on there for a couple more minutes. I almost feel like I want to cut it in half. Let me, let me see if I can. It's kind of hard because it's already cooking and it's hot. So I don't know how I can do that, but I'm going to try. Let me turn this around so I can see this side. I want to put my hand on it so that let's do it with the spatula instead of that because that's actually cutting right. Oh, look at that. It's actually cooking really well on the inside. I'm going to put that down. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I was already getting some pretty grill marks. Should I put butter? <laughs> no, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on that. This is an oily breast. Okay, use this other piece to kind of smear it on there. Put that back on there. Pretty. This is a little bit thicker, so I'm hoping I can slice it to this one a little bit better. See guys, I'm hoping that I can get a, a microphone that I can wear on my lapel here, so I don't have to scream because I'm not like a screamer, popper kind of person. I, I've actually been told, can you speak up many times? Or no one ever even hears what I'm saying. <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm considering that, but I'm hoping that it'll work with a camera that I have and I don't have to, I'm not buying another camera. I spent a lot of money on that one already to get the one that I have now. Okay, I was even thinking I should have seasoned it. Oh well, let me get this little piece of chicken to help me move this oil around. I actually put a glass cutting board on here. I don't like cutting meats on a wood cutting board, no matter how well treated it is. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put the oil that have dripped on here into here. Nice. Cover back up. Well, <laughs> I have something for y'all to laugh at. Um, I put the toast in the toaster oven, but I never actually turned it on. I just, I don't know what I did, and I just turned on the timer. So all the 10 minutes went by and I go, because it turned off, and I go look at the bread, I'm like, it's not even toasted. And then I realize, oh, I never turned it to toaster oven. So the toaster oven never got turned on, so my toast never got toasted. I feel like there's some lyrics to a song like, I'll turn my toaster oven on, but my toast never got toasted. Okay, there we go, that's my singing. My chicken, I think, is done. Let's go ahead and get that off the griddle before it gets way too cooked. Ooh, I'm going to turn it off. Yeah, this is yummy looking. Let me take a little taste test because, you know, you have to. You can't serve unless you taste it. Get a little taste test. And make sure that everybody's getting what you think you're giving them. In this case, it's just myself and my husband. <laughs> Look at the fat. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I want another flavor in there, but you know what? I'm going to put cheese on it, so that will do it. I tend to want to put lots of flavor into my food. Put um, lots of seasonings or lime or something into them because, you know, because we're cutting down and we're cutting on trying to cut on some things. Of course, I'm not cutting on too much fat tonight because there's lots of cheese really in the bread. But I can tell you, I didn't eat bread the whole week. Although I did have bread earlier because we did buy some sandwiches. So I had that. But you know, I basically just eat a corn tortilla. I don't have any other, any other breads. Um, and um, anyway, 
I tend to put lots of seeds because I want my food to taste really good, to enjoy it nice and slowly. You know, when I was younger, I used to eat real slow. And I used to like to enjoy the food that I was making. I mean, that I was eating. I wanted to enjoy every little bit of it. So I was never like a rush eat kind of a person. I, I ate it very slowly. I wanted to enjoy every little bit of it. I was, you know, the last one at the lunch table, the last one at the dinner table, at every party, whatever, the last one to finishing. So I, I ate very little. So I was a, you know, decent sized person. And then I got married. <laughs> and my husband was, and everybody in his family was like, get out of the washer, just get out of the way. So I was like, oh, okay. And it just, the problem is with eating really fast is you don't really enjoy the meal and it just kind of goes through you and you think, I need something else. So you end up wanting to eat some, you know, food or whatever it is, whether it's a dessert or whatever. So then I got used to having a meal and dessert, meal and dessert all the time. Started eating, uh, my husband at first when we got married didn't want anything but burgers, pizza, or spaghetti. So that's all I could cook. I was like, how about some chicken with some, this, you know, I don't know, I wanna eat that, you know, I don't like that. He didn't like rice, he didn't like beans, he didn't like chicken and rice, he didn't like, you know, fried chicken even, he didn't like that, he just wanted pizzas. But little by little, you know, I got him to start wanting to eat different things, but it took years, you guys, and I've gained a lot of weight. I'm not blaming it on him, I should have more control over myself. But you know, I did it. And then we had a restaurant for a while and I had to taste everything. And you know, I was sitting there, nachos, cheese, oh, that was my favorite thing. So I did this to myself. Uh, but you know, now we're getting older and it's so, it's really easy for me to lose weight. It's just really hard for me to keep it off. Like, you know, once I've stopped, uh, I've lost the weight that I've wanted to lose and I, you know, get on, you know, a lot of people get on that little plateau. Just anything, if I just go off and go, okay, well, I'm gonna treat myself to this. It just seems like it just comes right back. And it, not only what you lost, but sometimes double, or, you know, at least one and a half of what you lost. And you end up gaining even more weight. And I know that this is a problem for other people. It's not just me. I've had my thyroid check, and that's not even a problem. I don't know, maybe now, I have no idea. Oh, but anyway, that's my other little story, and I'm making this really long. Okay, so I got my bread all nice and toasted here. This one got a little toastier than this one, but that's okay. A nice crunchy bit. Mm -hmm. No, but I'm gonna do, let me move the camera down a little bit so you can see better. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna put some butter on these, but I think, yeah, I'm gonna wait till. I'm gonna put some on the inside here. Just break it off like that so it's a little easier to spread. And it's been out here at room temperature, so it's kind of soft. Okay, so I wanna put some cheese. Let me put some on this one as well. This butter is real soft now. Okay. Just a little bit. Let's put these on top I'm over here because now I'm going to cut up the apple and some of the scooter cheese because that other cheese they sliced it up for us. Okay. Gotta get this out of the little wax thing that it's also in. half here. Oh, so nice. Get this waxy part, this little casing off of it. And now some nice slices. My husband's doing so much work out there. Yes. Okay, so I got that. 
I might need more. I think I'll just dig into that. I've already washed my apple. I had washed it uh, way earlier. So here. Get that little center part out. I don't need those little seeds. And then also some nice thin slices of that. You just slice it this way. I thought I would have gotten away with those little mini little Granny Smith apples instead of getting a big one. Because I don't think I need that much, but I'm going to slice it up anyway. It's getting tricky now. I'm just going to eat this part. Mm-hmm. Mm. So yummy. Okay. I've covered up my chicken. Let me get this started up again. Taking a little slice of. Oh, there's a fly in here. So I'm going to layer, kind of overlapping a little bit, and getting some nice thin. Should I do it this way? I don't think it matters, but. Hmm. Let's do it this way. And then just overlap them as well. Okay, all these nice thin pieces. I feel like those are a little too thick, so I'm gonna use those. Okay, and now, should I put the Gouda and then the chicken? Let's add some Gouda in here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna slice it, or not, not slice it, but um, oh yeah, into little strips like this. So it'll kind of melt a little more openly like that and not going to be an expensive sandwich. <laughs> All this glue. My honey's out there looking at me. We got a new storage box for stuff out there. I know you've seen one of my, during one of my videos on my garden and I showed it to you guys and it looked pretty bad. We we're going to get rid of it and we had until now. Okay, so now I'm going to take this chicken that I cut that I butterfly and I'm gonna put it right on here. And a little piece right there. And then I'm gonna take more of this gouda and do more of this little julienne cutting. this piece to have with these slices of apple to enjoy. Okay, so now more of this Gruyere. It's fun saying it. And one more. 
Look at that. And I can I mean it was expensive, so you know. I'm gonna eat it. We're gonna eat it. I'm gonna actually wrap this up and put it in the same little baggie. I like my jelly use these little Ziploc bags. Yours probably does too, I don't know. Okay, so now I can put this on top. This one got really toasted. So I'm going to put it, I think with this other side down first. Just get lots of butter on it. facing this part again down. The other side's getting all broken up like that. And it's going to sizzle, of course. Put these cheese right in there. All right, guys, I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna cover this a little bit. It's not very covered, obviously, because um, it's a big thick sandwich. Not only that, but the top bread is very crispy. Now, if I push it down, which is what was my plan to do, I could grab another piece of bread, but I'm just going to go with it the way it is uh, and just make that crispy sandwich. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. Hopefully, some of the heat will bounce back from the glass onto the sandwich so that um, the cheese starts to melt. And that's all I want because obviously the chicken's already cooked, the bread's toasted, so just want that cheese to melt, the apples to get nice and warm in there. Mm -hmm. And we'll be back. All right, so I'm back and I've had my sandwich here on my griddle for about six minutes. I did lower my temperature, I had it on high and I've got it down to a low temp. And I'm gonna pull the sandwich out. Now remember the toast, one of the pieces of toast was Super crispy, super crunchy, so it started breaking up on me, but I went ahead and I turned it over kind of carefully. It did fall apart a little bit, but that's okay. I really wanted the heat to get to the cheese and melt it a bit, and it did. I know that the top one, when it was turned over, that it did melt it, and the, the bread is stuck to it. So I know the cheese is melted. The other side, the cheese is still not quite melted, but I'm going to go ahead and pull it off the griddle here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because guys I'm hungry melted cheese or not I'm hungry there we go look at this big sandwich let's move this aside by the way this is going to be super easy to clean off it's hot right now but and with my finger some of it comes off okay look at that let me turn it around so you can see this other side See that? The cheese in there and the apples. Looks so good. Need it like that. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I think I'm going to go at an angle like this. And the top part got nice and crunchy as well. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Look at that cheese. <laughs> look at that guys wow I think it's time to give this a taste all right everyone so once again here is my sandwich this is a chicken with apple and gruyere and gouda and yumminess sandwich it's a grilled sandwich and I've got some little veggie fries or veggie chips that I'm going to enjoy with this and look, we even have a cherry pie. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and indulge on our weekend. So my husband and I are going to enjoy this. I feel like I need to take a bite, you guys. My mouth is watering. My husband said it looked like a heart. And it does if I was to kind of like, kind of put the little pointy ends and the rounded parts upwards. <laughs> like if I turned it like this. Look at that, it looks like a heart. Let me bring it up to you guys. Can you see that? <laughs> Without having it falling all over the place on me. 
I'm also going to serve myself some of this delicious artificial drink. <laughs> All right, let's take a bite. That's really good. I feel like I have to cut it one more time because it's really big to pick up. And because my toast got really toasty, it's just gonna fall all over the place. But I would suggest toasting it very, very little just to warm it up a little bit. Just so the butter will melt when you spread it on it. And then grilling it, but this came out delicious. I can't wait for my husband to try it. I know he's gonna love it. Mmm. You already tasted a slice of apple with the gouda. I love that. So, okay, that's it, you guys. <laughs> One little sippy sip. Okay, I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope you two will give me a big old thumbs up. And I hope you enjoy my little vlog for today and my little chit chat. Thank you again to Melissa and Mikey. For the lovely keychain, I love it very, very much, and I can't wait to put it on my uh, key holder with where I have my car keys. Can't wait to show it to my husband because um, he hasn't seen it. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to put your pictures right after this so everybody can see the lovely wreaths that you have created. Uh, I'm so proud of you, and I hope that more of you will send me some pictures, whether you send them via, you know, post office, uh, my post office box, or if you send me an email both of which are in my description box below. So again, leave a nice comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this little sandwich. Uh, do you think you can make something like this? Let me know uh, little ideas for vlogging um, that you'd like me to see me do. I do have my craft room that I want to uh, clean up and redo. And then I have a little bedroom that I kind of want to redecorate. So those are going to be coming up uh, in due time uh, when I get all my stuff ready for that. So those are some vlogs that are going to be coming up. So let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see me do. I'm going to cover this up because I just noticed there's a fly that wants to enjoy my meal as well. All right, so before this gets cold on me, I got to go, everyone. Thank you for subscribing to everyone. And those of you who haven't, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I put videos every Tuesday and every Friday. And on the weekends, I put up a little vlog for you. There we go. Make sure you share your social medias. And as always, enjoy.